does type 1 diabetes stop someone having elective plastic surgery? So this person has inquired and wants to know if she can have surgery. She's got type 1 diabetes. So um, the answer to that is that diabetes is not, there are some, there are basically absolute and relative contraindications to surgery. And it is not an absolute contraindication to surgery. Uh, because you can have surgery if you have type 1 diabetes. But uh, there are potential problems in someone who has diabetes, ma mainly in the form of risk of infection. You have an increased risk of infection if you have diabetes. So the fact of the matter is, if you've got diabetes, you've got a higher risk of infection than someone who hasn't got diabetes. Infection is particularly important if someone's having breast imp or implants, really. Um, but I suppose breast implants are the most common implants, but any sort of implants in plastic surgery or in any surgery. If you get an infection with an implant in, you have to remove the implant. So infection is something we really worry about and we are very keen to minimize the risk of infection, particularly if having implants, but obviously you want to minimize the risk of infection if whatever surgery you're having. So um, the thing that I would say to the person is first of all, is your diabetes optimized? So we would probably want to talk to the doctor who's looking after your diabetes uh, to make sure that you're not in a period where you're, if you're on insulin, um, which often type one diabetes people are, but if you're on insulin, but whichever type of diabetes you're on, you've got really, whether you're on insulin or however it's controlled, is that stable? Are you um, in a good place in terms of your diabetic control, in terms of your blood sugars? If they're stable, fine. If they're a bit up and down, if you're going through a funny time in your life, if your weight is changing and you maybe your, your sugars are changing, then we would want things to be stabilized before having surgery. So the first thing is we want to get you as good as we can. And this is the same for any sorts of chronic illness, I suppose. If you are in a period where it's a bit up and down, then you'd want it to be stabilized before having elective planned surgery so we would do this in liaison with the person who's looking after your diabetes your endocrinologist or your gp or whoever it is um, to make sure that things are okay uh, number two we would say to you once we're happy that it's stabilized i guess it depends on how bad your diabetes is but i've done surgery on people who've had like um constant infusion of insulin a, a, a continuous infusion so not even just insulin injections so we have done so on people who have bad diabetes but you have to have a discussion with that person to say look you've got an increased risk of infection and whenever you are thinking of having surgery you've got to weigh up the pros and the cons and so infection is a con with anybody but in someone with diabetes it's a it's a bigger because you've got a higher risk of diabetes so you've got to weigh up the pros and the cons so the pros really are what you will benefit from having surgery so only you know how heavy the pros are so it will add weight to the cons because you've got a higher risk of, di of infection than someone else who hasn't got diabetes but your pro might be so high that that's okay but if your pro is the same as someone else's pro. So if you want the surgery the same as someone else who hasn't got diabetes, and that other person is just a little bit, uh, the balance is just tipped in favor of the pros, then for you, that extra weight on that con might tip the balance the other way and might say, you know what, I don't want to have surgery because, you know, if I have an infection, that's through the implant, that's a nightmare, and I don't want to go through that. So it's just something to add into the mix, to add into the cons. As I say, it's not an absolute contraindication. You doesn't just because you've got diabetes type one or type two doesn't mean that you can't have surgery. But we want to make sure it's well controlled, and we'd add it into the mix in terms of the risk of infection, which would undoubtedly be higher uh, in someone who has diabetes. Just put it in the mix. In the mix.